All right, we're gonna talk about change today, specifically why change is so hard to affect in your business and in your life, but even more specifically, I'm gonna give you three surefire ways to affect the changes that you say that you wanna make. And when it comes to change, it's easy to talk about, isn't it? It's easy to talk about all the things you wanna do, the shifts that you wanna make, the places that you wanna go, money you wanna make, the body you wanna have, the relationships that you really want to get connected. Most of the time, these aren't even real changes. They're ultimately transformations. And that's really a radical change boiled into a fancier word. But why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to not just see the vision, even though that's hard in and of its own self, which I actually made a video about. You can click the pop out banner right there and check it out. But once you see that vision, why is it so difficult to actually make that vision your new reality? More importantly, how can you reverse all of the previous patterns that you've had of falling short of the changes that you want to make and actually make those things happen in your life? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video right here. So let's get to it. Actually, before we do it, let me know in the comments below what changes and transformations you ultimately want to make inside of your own life. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is gonna be non-conventional because the conventional ways of trying to make change simply don't work. You've already experienced that in your own life. So let's not worry about any of the conventional stuff and let's look at something a little bit differently. So the first thing that I wanna share with you is going through a process of reverse visualization. I recognize that most people will tell you that in order to affect the change that you want to make in your life, you need to visualize where you want to go. They'll tell you to close your eyes and envision yourself having the things that you want to have, doing the things you want to do in the body that you want to have. People will talk to you about journaling on this future version of yourself and getting really clear on an emotional connection to that future version of yourself. I'm going to encourage you to have an emotional connection, but in an entirely different way. If that is the process of visualization, I want you to think about reverse visualization. Reverse visualization is seeing yourself in five to 10 years without making any of the changes that you want to make. Your life stays on an exactly flat trajectory from where you are right now to the point five to 10 years in the future. This is the opposite of what you want. It's the reverse of what you want. And you can imagine how frustrated you'd be if you met yourself in five to 10 years from now and you hadn't made any changes, any of the improvements you're talking about. You make the same amount of money that you've always made, you live in the same house, you drive the same car, you've got the same body, you've got the same connection or lack of connection in your relationships. And that's the thing that I want you to hold on to because what people don't get in the visualization process is that it's really, really hard for humans to move towards something that they want. We're not good at that. What we are good at is running away from pain. So if we think that there's going to be pain or discomfort in our future, it's going to trigger something in our own subconscious that makes us move that much faster away from it. But the only way to move away from it is when you've got a really clear visualization on what it looks like in five to 10 years if you make no changes. So process and tip number one is to reverse visualize where you'll be in five to 10 years if you make zero changes from where you are right now. Second concept we need to talk about here is quantum decision making. When you make decisions, most of the time you're making those decisions based on the experiences that you've had in the past. For example, if you've got a new idea, a new initiative that you want to start in your business, that's going to make the change and transformation that you're looking for to make the money that you want to make. But let's say you failed at those a lot in the past. Chances of you making a decision that's bold, that is going to really create that change and transformation is unlikely because you're tainted by the past events and the past failures that you've had. Pull into this quantum decision making, which is reversing that process, which is instead of making the decisions that the you in the past would have made, you think, how would the me of the future, the one that's already achieved the change and transformation that I'm trying to make right now, think, how would that version of me make this decision? What would they do? 
chances are those would be wildly different things because your confidence level will have increased so much by achieving the things that you simply said that you would do. You'll be more in integrity and in line with your intentions and what you feel to be true about yourself. And so there's a dramatically different decision that would get made by the future version of you, the higher achiever version, than the one that's in the past that failed. And so thinking through and what action that person would take will help you make that step. It also helps us from the same human condition that I talked about in the last little segment where we want to avoid all the pain. Well, the thing about it is, is that every single action that you choose to take is going to involve pain. The only choice is, do you want to feel the pain right now or do you want to feel the pain in the future? Most often people choose the pain in the future and avoid pain right now. The trouble with that is that the future pain is often more long-term and it's bigger. And the pain that happens right now is usually short and not really that bad when you gain perspective on it. So the more you can make decisions through the quantum decision-making process as your future successful self would do it, the higher the chance you're gonna make the right decision to actually affect the change and transformation you're looking for. Third thing we need to talk about is collapsing time and making things more urgent. One of the things that you see happen all the time is people will set a 12 month goal and inside of that, they feel like they've got more time. They've got plenty of time. One quarter goes by and they think nothing of it. And then the second quarter goes by and they're talking about it. Maybe we should really do something about that. Third quarter, nothing's happened. And now the urgency's kicked in and now they're working as hard as they possibly can to try to accomplish this thing that they said was okay in 12 months inside of three months. We need to collapse this time for urgency. This is very similar to when I was working with my client, Corey, I'll pop him up on the screen right now, who wanted to sell his company in five years. And I challenged him to do it in one year. And he did. And so this is what you do to actually execute this process. It's when you set a goal and set the goal based on whatever timeline you think it should be in your normal, rational mind, whatever you think it should be. If you think it'll take you a year, if you think it'll take you two years, if you think it'll take you three years, whatever it is, have the rational thing in your mind. Once you've done that, then ask yourself a simple question. If it's a one year goal, ask yourself, what would need to be true in order for me to make this happen in six months? If it's a two year goal, what would need to happen in order for this to go down in 12 months? And if it's a three-year goal, what would need to happen if I wanted to execute this in 18 months? You don't realize that the speed that you can go to achieve the change and the transformation is a lot faster than your conventional wisdom and conventional thought process can go. You're actually more likely to hit targets and goals that are big on really short timelines. The longer your timeline is, your lazy gene kicks in and you think we'll do it later. But if it's short and you've got to accomplish it in a very defined window of time that makes you uncomfortable, that's compressed and collapsed, the urgency meter kicks up super high for you and everybody around you. And because of that, you wind up achieving the goal a lot faster than you ever thought possible. Remember that what you want isn't really about change. Change is something that isn't really dramatic. It can go unnoticed. You want transformation. You want radical change. In order to do that, it requires a different model of thinking and it requires swimming against the stream of conventional wisdom because if conventional wisdom worked, then everybody would making change and transformation look easy and they're not. So I don't want that to be you. Implement the three things that I talked about in this video, and I promise you, your life will be unrecognizable in the next six months.